there's been one singular question that I've been asked more than any other since the reveal of Rancho del Arroyo, and that is, do I think this map is going to be good for grinding the Whitetail? And my answer to this point is, I kind of think so. But today we're going to try to answer that definitively, so it is currently 8.30, the beginning of Whitetail drink time on this map, and I'll say it again, the drink time is 8.30 to 11.30, and we're going to hit literally every lake on this map, and just kind of see what we can find for Whitetail, and we are starting here in La Hacienda. I can guarantee we're going to see a bunch of Whitetail at the first lake, but after that, I'm really not sure. And just to kind of show it, because as I said, I knew there would be Whitetail all over this first lake. There are just a ton of zones and still some Whitetail walking in. In fact, that's the best one I've seen to this point, but you can just see everywhere we look across this lake, there are more and more Whitetail and bucks with pretty much every single herd that I see here, so... I'm really looking forward to seeing like what kind of drink zones this kind of turns into after some grinding. But definitely this first lake right north of the starting lodge is going to be a good one, but that buck is stopping out there. Because he is an 85 to 100, we'll try to hit him here with the M1. And I'd say that will do good enough for that one. And I don't really intend to shoot more than one buck per lake, just because we have a bunch to cover, but starting with a 222 score is not bad. And like I said, we have a lot of lakes to get to, so we're going to head straight to the next one. What really makes this map different from the others is just the size of the lakes and really the amount of drink zones around them. I do kind of think that it might be less of an issue once you know where all of your whitetail drink zones are. But the fact that there's a lot of places where you can't see all the way across, and even where you can, it's still a lot of times a really long run to go and claim stuff. I could see that kind of being a obstacle to kind of being efficient while doing this kind of grind. But I do think once you kind of know your map, some kind of efficient tent placement might kind of get rid of most of those issues. So another 85 to 100 buck, and I keep on seeing that thing with pretty much every species when they're in the zone. They have these like little hops they do, like that does do in there, and I'm not sure like what's causing it. It might just be something to do with the animation, but we managed to drop that guy. I think he has a chance of being the best one we've shot on this map thus far, but I'm hoping maybe by the end, since we're checking all the lakes, maybe we can manage a even bigger one than that guy. Actually just 222 again, so not as big as the one we shot on our first hunt there, but not a bad hard shot. I feel like there's something different about the kind of vitals and skeletal view. I don't even know what it is, but it looks a little different to me. Anyway, I guess it's not that important, and I did actually want to continue to show the lakes that we're going to, so the last one was this here, and then obviously we're down here at this lake for that buck that we just shot. I'd say one thing's for sure though, compared to Layton, it's just so much easier to find Whitetail during their drink time on this map, because obviously with Layton, the lakes or rivers, whatever you want to call them, run pretty much the length of the map. And there's just so much more surface area to cover to make sure that you're not missing any drink zones. Even though these lakes are so large and it can be difficult to, I would think at least, kind of hunt the entire thing and make sure you're not missing any, it's a lot more obvious where the deer are going to be and that can certainly be time saving as well, but this was just a pretty small buck, 168.5 silver, but pretty much every lake we get to, there's at least one herd of whitetail drinking at it. and. We're kind of getting towards the end of their drink time, so we might hop over to this one since there's an outpost near it, just because we can probably check it quick enough. Another pretty good sized buck, and I wouldn't even be surprised if he's bigger than the other uh, dude 20s that we shot. His max is 226, but he's got nice tall G2s. There's a couple others in there, but nothing really all that special looking. And that's only the very beginning here, so we have a lot more of this lake yet to cover. But I think we still have time, even if we run and claim this guy quick. I want to be quick about this. He's actually only 214. I guess maybe it's the tip to tip spread that's hurting him, because it doesn't really have the frame width as the other couple of bucks we had. But I wanted to kind of auto run back the other way so we could save a little time in claiming him. I really would not be shocked if there's more whitetail drinking around here. Now that is bigger than the other bucks. I'm not sure what is going on with that doe. There must be something to do with the ground, maybe, but that, I'm almost sure, is like a diamond potential rack. So, there is no render glitch. We can go ahead and take the shot now. Actually, uh, I think their zone ended. Pretty sure that's still going to be a lung hit, so we're going to be fine. 
I wanted to shoot early in case there were any other zones around, and I'm not so sure there are, but actually, some over there in another big two. We might get a shot at them as we go around. Decent two there as well. I think this is going to be the best spot to go for it. It's going to put us near where we need to go anyway, so last I saw him, I think he's the one right behind this. Yeah, that's our guy. And that should be another long shot, so two pretty good bucks at this lake now. Then this would be our potential diamond level two, and he does have a good looking set of antlers. He is a diamond at 255.7. Admittedly, I didn't think he would make it. So that's a nice surprise. We've had very, very good luck out here on Rancho Del Arroyo. I don't know how many species we've had diamond of now. There's been whitetail, bighorn, jackrabbit, and pheasant for sure. Maybe that is all of them, because I know we had uh, a couple of diamond rabbits that might be kind of throwing off my perception, but even still, I bet we're not going to have this kind of luck when the map actually releases, but that was a nice surprise. And our other buck certainly wasn't a bad one. 235 actually for him, so the two from this lake might be our two best. I can't remember what that one scored for our first hunt, but I don't think it was quite 235. I know I mentioned at the beginning that I could kind of see the size of the lakes being an issue, but the more we run into Whitetail and just continue to encounter them, the more I think, even if it is an issue, it's something that's going to be an upgrade over Layton anyway. Just the amount of Whitetail herds, and again, smart tent placement could kind of eliminate a lot of the problems anyway. I really do think this might be a better Whitetail map. It's hard to say what we'll actually do, but I'm thinking after we manage to go through and get a diamond of every species on this map, and who knows how long that's going to take, but I probably am going to try to set up for another Great One grind. Just everything I'm seeing here on Rancho del Arroyo in early access, it seems like it would be very doable. And again, there's more whitetail over there. I have never seen a rack quite like that. That's a decent bug. But I want to shoot that one. That has all kinds of 2005 vibes. That's kind of cool. I'm sure there are more deer up across here too. This is another huge lake. And that's kind of what I was getting at as far as setting up for another grind. It's going to be interesting, like finding the zones on the live game and really getting to get into it more and just seeing where like tent placement would be the best. Because a lake this size, there can be so many zones and... Of course, there is a limit on how many tents you can place. So, it's, I think, going to be a fun little challenge to try to set up properly. I mean, that looks straight out of Deer Hunter 2005, and it kind of does look more like a mule deer in that game, but it's cool to actually see that. And we talk about true racks so much, and we still see a lot of the same basic frames and shapes, but that one was entirely unique for me. This is a kind of neat little spot here, and we have a bunch of bucks drinking. I think that one might have a chance of being gold, so we'll go for him. I think his estimate went up to 218. Gold is 197 or somewhere in that area, so we'll have a shot at it anyway. So as soon as he lifts his head, we'll try to get a shot in there. Kind of unique looking again. And we're sort of lucky there because we were definitely below the heart where I wanted to be, but got into a lung regardless. And we'll see then. He is a 186, so kind of close. Sort of unique antlers again, though. I'm not sure if they've done anything to tracks, but we've seen a number of them that have looked kind of different than anything we've seen in the past. And by the way, just to keep up with where we're at, this tiny little lake up here apparently is a decent spot for whitetail. Well, I'd say this lake has just a bit of potential. There are a ton of deer over here, including one of the smallest level one whitetail I've ever seen. That guy's got a shot at gold. I don't think any others here do. For the first time this entire hunt, we might try to kill two of them, and I think we're going to try to get the level one first. That is probably a hard shot, and one of the weirder doubles. I don't know what happened there, but he kind of warped to the side. There were more deer in here as well, right beside us, in fact. Let's see what this one is here. A couple of does. Saw one more just in there right when that turkey gobbled, and I went to look the other way, so I don't know where it was exactly. I'm certain there was a third deer. Assuming it wasn't anything special, we'll just go and claim our couple of bucks then. So for this little guy, 60 kg and a 77 score. Interesting, he somehow has almost like eight points. There's a split, it looks like, on either end there. I don't even know how that would be possible, but then 
Our other bug's down right beside him. We'll see if he maybe was big enough to make it. We've had a number of interesting goals thus far, but he is just a 182 silver. Nice kind of frame, though. Well, we hadn't even seen the best of it. There's a huge buck in there. That has to be a diamond. Uh, there's a ton all around here. But certainly, that one is going to be like a level 3 diamond. I don't even think level 2s can have the rack that I just saw, but we'll scoot in here just a little closer first. Where was that guy at? That one right there. I think that's the biggest possible rack. Oh, yeah. That's going to be like borderline 270. The only thing that might keep him from that is the fact that he's kind of narrow. But there's another good buck back in there as well. I'm not too sure what that is. Let's check on the range here. 120 meters away. I kind of think if we just fire the 22 but not near them, it should alert them. Rather than trying to call and get them all moving this way, I think it's going to be best to kind of just separate them. That's not big enough to be a level 2 diamond, so we're simply going to focus on that one back there, which I'm confident is a 3 even if we don't get to spot it. He's trotting around, so we'll get a chance here. Up to 277. I thought I saw a pipe out in there as well. What a hurdle white tail this is. If we can get a shot right about there. He's getting pushed around a little bit. I don't like that. Just past that dough would be good. That'll work. And we got the pie bulb. Looks like both our lung hits. This lake is insane. I don't even know if I showed it. It's this big one here. And might be the best whitetail spot on the entire map. So, pie bulb dough. A turkey just kind of flew over. And we're in apparently a decent enough area that I'd like to spot it just in case there's another cool thing. But I think that got away. Would have liked to have maybe taken a screenshot of that pie bulb. But it was, like I said, just a dough. And then... This buck, 267 max weight. What is going on here? Like I said, I think the fact that he's narrow is what's keeping him from being a 270. Haven't seen a rack like this since we did our great one grind, actually. Kind of cool. I guess we'll taxonomize that as well and go and visit our two diamonds or potentially more by the time we're done uh, back in the trophy lodge. I think there's only one lake I want to get to still, and that would be this one way up here in the northeast. We're going to have to go and reset the time first. Unfortunately, after such a long run up here, I don't see any whitetail at this particular lake. And I was looking, by the way, there's the whole area along the south here that I could imagine there being whitetail drink zones at. But I think just visiting all the lakes today, we got the point. And it's that this map could definitely be a fantastic whitetail grinding map. And I mean, two diamonds, I don't know that I ever really managed that on Layton. I think in our video where we got the great one, we killed two diamonds that day, but they were sort of separate hunts. So even still, this one was a little bit different than anything we ever managed on the great one grind itself. And since we just looked at the new multi mounts, I thought it was fitting to make a multi mount of our two new diamond bucks, a 267.9 and a 255.7. And I think getting the two big bucks is one thing. But the ease of going around to all the different lakes and pretty easily finding zones and taking out a couple of bucks. And I really do think that if we opened the map and looked at where the zones were and kind of just took a moment to figure things out, we could add pretty good tent placement and probably our next run could be quite efficient. But obviously we're not trying to do a grind on a early access build, so that'll have to wait for the full release. But I'm quite excited for that to actually come out and to really do a whitetail grind at some point on Rancho Del Arroyo, because... I think it's going to be a very good map to do that on, and that is my official kind of, uh, you know, conclusion based off of everything that we saw today. We spent a good bit of time out there, almost three hours, looked at all those zones, killed two diamonds in the process, and I do think it might be better than Leighton Lakes, but we'll have to see with a long-term grind to know 100% for sure. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.